Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel One Pizza Too Many Cooking and Unboxing Videos and today I'm dead excited to be with Richie from uh, Delicious Coffee he's invited me over to the Maze 52 near Ashbourne uh, to unbox something exciting uh, in fact uncover something exciting that he has bought from Dave at Skillcraft so, Hi Dave So uh, Richie, are you excited? Uh, just, just a little bit I think, yeah Yeah, definitely. I am um, the weather's against us today. It's been absolutely hammering it down. So we're, we're going to crack on and we're going to have people, customers come into the maze in about an hour for, for using this. So we need to crack on. So if you like what you see, make sure you are staying tuned to the channel. And of course, you're hitting that subscribe button and notifications bell for when I release new content. So let's jump straight into this. For those of you that um, know Richie from previous videos like the Vesta unboxing here, um, you'll know he's big into his pizza ovens because he runs a little coffee business, don't you Richie? Yep. Um, he's been to see Dave at Skillcraft and tell us, well, should we just uncover it? Yeah, yeah. Come, that's, come that's on, go, go for it. it. Uh, ready? Da, 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 da. <laughs> Look at that. So Richie, tell us what it is you've got. It's the, the first trailered Vulcan Plus. Yeah, you did hear that, that right. The very first Vulcan Plus that they've made from Skillcraft that they've put on a trailer. Um, and Richie, you've had it in special colour as yeah, well. Yeah, we've had it sort of match our, our blue logos and bits. Yeah. Um, yeah. Fantastic. It looks really nice, I think, with the, with the black. Wow. It really kind of stands out. Check my video out on the Skillcraft Factory Tour for all the different um, pizza runs that they do. And also, um, I did, I've got a Vulcan myself in my garden again. There's a link to the video just above me. Um, I was gutted because I fit my Vulcan oven thinking, yes, this is amazing. And next thing you know, Rich is messaging me. I'm thinking of getting the new Vulcan Plus. I'm like, oh man, <laughs> I need a Vulcan Plus now. Right, so let's let's move you in. We'll we'll have a little walk around, and then we're going to get it fired straight up. Okay, so you will see the colour. Really, really nice. I'm going to try and move around nice and slow, and you'll see how nice this new front door is. It's all made in house. They've got rid of the wood the wooden handles and it's the same inside sort of cooking area wise as the standard Vulcan apart from you've now got this extra bit all the way around the side um, which adds extra height to the oven and also this bit here you'll see it's thicker and there's even more insulation in the oven if you could get any more insulation in it. So Richie, um, let's pop the back of the trailer open. So you can, you can use it for storage as well. And you'll see that the oven is bolted to the trailer so it can't come off. Now, please make sure that you don't set a fire in the trailer and then think you can cook in the oven with the heat from the wood fire in the trailer it's just designed for storage isn't it that Richie? yep okay so we'll lift the back up and you'll see the nice LED lights steady legs and then top where the flue goes on. So do you want to put the flue on Richie? Really nice flue on them as well. It's um, 
<laughs> so it's thicker than the, the one on the uh, Vesta. Yeah. I quite like it in the black as well. And the flute pushes on, simple as that. And we've got nice detail with the, the black screws as well to hold the cover on. Really nice. Fantastic. Right, okay, so we're going to move you in and we're going to get some measurements and we're going to get a fire going. So, got the trusty tape measure and just for the purpose of this, we're going to have a little measure. And the trailer is 111 centimetres wide and then deep it's 99 centimetres deep and the thickness for the insulation is just under 19 centimetres so loads of insulation in this now let's have a look I'll just give you the door Richie and we'll get Richie to peel all the all this off I'm gonna measure in the back the back to the front right to this front edge is 82 centimetres and then with the cooking space inside it's 92 centimetres so it's a massive cooking area so I reckon you could easily get um, four pieces in this no problem so we're going to peel all this off and we're going to get it lit so we're with Philly who owns and runs uh, this fantastic maze 52. Um, do you want to tell us a little bit about what it is and what you've got going on here? Yeah, so we opened for the summer, so we had our maze 52 summer event and we are now open for Halloween. We are branding as maze 52 nights, so we are offering a Halloween maze. So we've got a haunted head, we've got things hanging in the maze and at certain times of the night we've got people jumping out and scaring you. Brilliant. We've also got a fairy lit walk and we've got some games to play as well. We are open 3 till 8 o'clock and you can book tickets on our website www.may52.co.uk Now one thing I will say is the temperature gauge on this new oven is a lot better than my original Vulcan. The way it actually comes through this sort of bulkhead, it comes all the way through um, whereas the one I've got it comes through and then it's blocked so you don't get a true reading of the temperature in the original Vulcan so it's going to be interesting to see how this reads once we get it fired up in a minute so let's go you see I've got a nice big pile of dried oak in the middle with a couple of fire lighters at the bottom what I'm going to do Get these, get this lit and go. There we are, it's lit. And every wood oven, you're gonna get a lot of smoke to start with out the front. But then once it's hot enough to temperature, it'll start drawing properly. If I was to put the door back on as well, that would get better draft as well. Um, but I want you guys to be able to see what we're doing. So you see the fire's now been going inside for about 10-15 minutes and you see it's all kind of coming down. Now I've got some of these really nice uh, glow Baltic logs which I'm just going to put in just to get warm and this is where you see if you parked it level and I've not. So I'll just use a little stick to keep it there and I'm going to put the rest of this on top as well. And it is red hot, as you'd expect, really. And already I can tell this temperature gauge is a big upgrade from the last Vulcan because it's already starting to read. Whereas I can have mine on for quite a while and it, and it only just comes up to the sort of 75 degree mark. So. Yeah, this is a big improvement. I'll put some more wood in to get hot as well. And then while we're here, I'm just gonna show you this, this new door. So again, Vulcan Plus. We've got really nice, they've got rid of the wooden handles, which um, were nice, but these are fantastic. The little spring handles. Again, all made in-house in the factory by Dave and the team. So 
it's really nice and you can just see that flame flickering through okay so wow that's going nicely now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move all the flame over to this side and I've got some trusty screw fix welding gloves and it's going to be dead simple just push it all over and we're going to get some more lugs on and we're going to get this cranking up ready for Richie to serve his pizzas wow it's raging in there now and what I've got here is the heavy duty log guard I'm going to slide that in and I'm just going to get my glove because it is red hot and I'm just going to push that right in that way it'll give us enough space for three to four sort of nine to ten inch pizzas Right, we've got the old Inkbird temperature gun. Check out the link in the pop out above me. And we're just gonna have a little look. So right in the center, the stone's currently at 314. On the right hand side, it's at 237. And right near the fire, Again, is at the 300 mark then on the outside I'm just gonna probe the outside and right above where the fire is on this side the outside temperature is only 25.8 degrees of the actual oven so that's that's mega that is Right, what I'm going to do is in the logs that are sitting on the opposite side, I'm going to put them on to stop them smoking. And then I think it's time we get a pizza on. So you can hear the uh, coffee bar in full swing just next to us. Um, right, Richie, so we've got some sourdough dough aren't we? Yep. I'm just going to dip it in a bit of flour just to coat it then onto the workbench and then nice and easy we're just going to push this out. How, how big do you want these aren't you? We go about nine, nine, nine to ten inches. Cool. Then we're going to get some sauce. So, dough out. And you make your own sauce, Richie, yeah? Yep. Fantastic. Secret recipe on the fried. Secret recipe. So, I'm going to go on with two spoons of sauce. I'm just going to work it around. To the edge, like so. Then I'm going to go on with. In a mozzarella. What are you going with, Richie? Yeah, a bit of mozzarella, bits of cheddar. Then I'm going to go on with some, good mind, I'm going to go on with some ham ribbons. Ribbons of ham. I love a ham and pineapple. What are you having, Richie? I'm, I'm going to go good old uh, margarita. Wow. Margarita. And a bit of pineapple. This is where Richie's profits go down the bin because I'm making pizzas now. That's why I'm having margarita to save some cash. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so basic, basic pizzas ready to go in. So 
we've got a pizza peel and then what we're going to do slide these on give it a shuffle just so the flour drops through and then let's head over to the oven behind me it's absolutely raging i'm going to get these cooked okay so i'm going to go in at the back which is going to go into the front straight away you can see the crust starting to bubble up at the back and again round here at the front this is real time we're not speeding this up i'm rich you can easily get four pizzas in there oh easily and already starting to brown at the edge looking fantastic so i'm just gonna place the peel underneath and plenty of room move these about in here your margaritas bubbling nicely So far in, we're what, 60 seconds to a minute? Yeah, just that. Bases are looking perfect. Nearly done. And then what do you think? Nice, that's the margarita one done. And ham and pineapple, I'm just going to show it the flame just to give the top a nice finish. And it's a ham and pineapple done. It's uh, my ham and pineapple, so uh, we're just going to cut them up. Very nice. Are you doing them into eight or six? Do mine. Eight. I'm going to go six. Oh, what? Just wanted to test Rich's math skills and ability. <laughs> There we have it, so we've got the margarita. So let's have a have a look at the, the base. Wow, fantastic. I just put really, a lot of cheese, I do like a cheesy pizza. So. Yeah, it looks really nice underneath. And then the same with the ham and pineapple, that base is perfect. It's not overcooked, it's really, really nice. And then, you know what they say is, the proof is in the eating, quick. Right, let's see. Mm. Can't beat it. I wish you were here right now. I don't, because I want to eat all this. Oh, wow. That is fantastic, isn't it? It's just brilliant. You can't... Yeah. Taste, honestly, it tastes amazing. It's... Right, Richie, well, we better wrap it up and uh, serve some customers because yeah, we're all stood behind so. heckling us watching. So, uh, I might just not serve and just eat this all to myself, to be honest. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> but, what an oven. What an oven. And let me just get you a quick reading of what it's currently showing in the middle. So where we've just had the pizzas, 377 degrees, fantastic. And now the outside, right where the flames are, now this has been running now for about an hour, hour and a half, and we're at 66 degrees on the outside, so it is warm to touch, but considering the flame that we've got rolling in there, I think that's really good. Well, it use so much less wood maintaining that. Yeah. So if you are a commercial catering establishment and you're thinking I need an oven, it, it's the best on the market. There's no doubt about that. Right, let's feed some people, shall we? Yep, absolutely. Right, so there we have it. Um, the new Vulcan Plus oven from Skillcraft, the very first one on a trailer. 
bought by Richie at Delicious Coffee. Thanks again, mate, for letting me come and unbox this new pizza oven with you. So this is what the third one we've done now with Richie's getting a bit of a pizza oven habit. Um, but yeah, thanks for having us along. You're welcome. Um, what's next? Another another one, potentially. Another See how one. it goes. Yeah. Um, See what Dave uh, Dave brings out and yeah. uh, go from there. Yeah, Dave, be careful because my bank balance is. Uh, it's your fault that it keeps going down because we keep buying pizza ovens. Um, and I just want to say a big thanks to Dave as well um, for sending me one of the new log uh, grates as well. I'm going to be doing an unboxing video with the new log grate, the Inferno branded log grate, um, which if you've got a pizza oven at home, whatever mate you've got, it's going to make it burn a lot better, a lot hotter. Um, so make sure you stay tuned so you get to see that in action as well. Um, until next time, thanks everyone, thanks Richie. Thanks to Maze52 for having us as well. Um, and we'll see you all again very soon. One pizza too many.